Well, the race for lieutenant governor in Texas is getting attention from all across the country. At least two elected Republicans say they are voting for the Democrat. They are backing Mike Collier instead of their own incumbent, Dan Patrick. And on Friday, former Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price, also a Republican, said voters should consider each candidate individually, not just blanketly support a party. Is this a Republican revolt? That is the topic of the latest episode of Yolitics out right now. Here's Jason Whiteley with some context. This is not the political story that anyone anticipated for November. Texas Republican officials abandoning their own Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick, and saying they will now support the Democrat in the race, Mike Collier. The Republican caucus on, on, in the state Senate works under threats of demotion. And if they differ from the Lieutenant Governor's viewpoints, they are penalized. And, and, and vindictiveness is not an element of leadership. Republican State Senator Kel Seliger from Amarillo, now the second Republican official to go public. Tarrant County, Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley made the Tarrant announcement County first Judge last Judge week on WFAA. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick declined our interview request, but none of the three men have gotten along in recent years. I've been a Republican, I've always been a Republican, I've always been a conservative, but that does not have, carry with it the obligation to meet other people's standards of conservative. Democrat Mike Collier was once a Republican and polls show him five to six points behind Patrick right now. Does this represent with Kel Seliger and Glenn Whitley, does this represent anything more than just two disgruntled Republicans? No, I think they're concerned about the direction of the state. You know, the Lieutenant Governor has outsized influence on where we go as a state and we are not headed in the right place. It's uncertain what any of this means politically, but journalist Jessica Hoosman from VoteBeat.org says it is reflective of what's happening nationally. I think that we should read something into it, right? I think that Dan Patrick is the most extreme version of Republicanism in Texas, and I think it says something that Republicans are starting to pull back from that in the post-Trump era. Nationally, some Republicans have backed away from Donald Trump, but no official in Texas has done that. Whether this affects the November election really depends on how many more Republicans decide to back Mike Collier. In Dallas, I'm Jason Whiteley. All right, this episode of Yolitics does feature Senator Seliger, Mike Collier, and Jessica Hoosman. It just dropped today. Download it now wherever you get your podcasts.